will be more than absent. This is my first instruction. And, uh, so this is the fifth classwork. So this for not submitted, this fifth classwork will be marked as absent. But it's also uh, as usual one. So roll number four, roll number six, roll number seven, roll number sixteen, roll number seventeen, roll number thirty-three, thirty-nine, forty-eight. 53. So these nine students will be marked absent for our last class. If you need attendance, you have to submit the same ones. That is my simple instruction. Okay. So in today's class, we will discuss about uh, the fourth case. So this one is our, uh, this one is related with the fourth case. So here a line AB of 40 mm length is parallel to VP and inclined at an angle of 30 degree to 60. Okay. So the condition is parallel to VP and inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the HP. So here one case is parallel and another one is inclined. Okay. So if any one plane is inclined, for example, if a line is inclined to any one plane, uh, you have to look at whether it is inclined to HP or it is inclined to V. The sixth case is different. It will It is both inclined. So that means it will be inclined at HP and also V. So for this case, uh, you have to draw one inclined line. That means uh, either front view or top view will be inclined. Okay. So for the for this particular case, that means inclined at angle of, at an angle of 30 degree to the HP. So here it is inclined to HP. So it is clearly indicated it is inclined to HP at an angle of 30 degree. Okay. So if you receive a case like this, you have to draw the front view at the particular inclined angle. Okay. So the top view will be a horizontal line. So for this case, the top view will be a horizontal line. Uh, so in the next fifth case, that is directly opposite to this fourth case. Okay. So in the fifth case, you will be getting inclined to VP and parallel to HP. Okay. So in that case, you have to draw a problem that is directly opposite to this. That means you have to draw the top view in an inclined position and you will be getting a horizontal line as a frame view. Okay. So, I'm directly moving to the problem. The line AB, 40 millimeter long, that means it is a true length. Okay. So, the true length of this line is 40 millimeter long and it is parallel to VP and inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to HP. That means you have to draw a line like this. So, this one is our object line okay and the lower end a is 15 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp this is our uh, condition okay so the condition is uh, point a the lower end a is 15 mm above hp so you have to uh, pick the point called a that should be 15 mm above the hp Okay, next, uh, on the same point, that should be 20 mm in front of VP. So, you have to pick the point that should have a 20 mm distance from the vertical plane. Okay, so this will be our first point. So, now we got the first point. Now, we can continue with our problem. So, what is our problem? We have to draw the uh, line. That means 40 mm length of line with an angle of 30 degree to the HP. So here you can draw a horizontal line, then you can create a 30 m, 30 degree inclined line. So you can pick a point from this. So from A, uh, it should have a 40 mm distance to the B. So you can uh, you can use your compass. Okay. So you can create a 30 degree line 
with the help of your protractor or else your pro circle then you can create a line so the length of the line should be 40 mm okay so this one is our second point so now we have to create the front view on top view so this will be our observer position so from here you have to look at this diagram so if you are looking from this direction you will be getting front view okay so this front view will be available in this vertical plane and you have to look at the top view from this direction so while looking from this direction you'll be getting the top view on the horizontal plane so this one is our top view and this one is our front view okay so please remember one thing if you are creating a inclined plane so inclined line uh, you can able to see the true length either from front view or top it is depends upon the problem okay so in this problem you can able to see the true length in front view if the problem is directly opposite that means the fifth case you can able to see the true length in the top view okay but in the both inclined cases you can't able to see the true length with the with front view or else top view here so now you have to create a horizontal line so it is a reference line so you can create a horizontal reference line you can mark it as x and y and you have to mark the vertical plane and also horizontal plane so next you have to proceed with the point called a that means the lower end a is 15 mm above hp so you have to pick a point that should have a 15 mm distance from the reference plane reference line okay so from here you have to create a 15 mm above point so you can name it as a dash because it is print view okay then also with that you have to create a 20 mm in front of vp so if it is in front you have to pick a point that should be 20 mm below the reference line so from the reference line you can pick a point the distance of 20 mm okay here it is 15 mm and here it is 20 mm okay so next uh, you have to create a you uh, have to create the chain field okay because it is a, you can able to see the true length in front view. So true length is the park first drop on. Okay, so here you can able to create the print view. So that means just create a, a thin horizontal line. So this line is not necessary. So if you need, you can create a horizontal thin line. Okay. So this one should have a zero degree angle. That means it should have a it should be a horizontal line. Okay, so next you can create the 30 degree inclined line. So the length of the line should be 40 mm. Okay, so this end is called it as B point. So since it is a front view, you can mark it as B dash. So now you can project those uh, two ends. So you can project the end called A for A dash. And also you can project the end called B dash. Okay, so now you can able to connect these two lines, sorry, two points. So you can mark it as A and B. So this one is our top view. So the length of the top view is not necessary because it will be less than 40 mm. If you are seeing this uh, inclined line from the top view direction, you will be getting the length that should be less than 40, 40 mm. So in the 40 mm, what can be come other? Okay, so this is our problem. Is there any doubt? Any doubt? Okay, Anna. so next you have to highlight these uh, problem. So you know very well what are the things we have to highlight it here. So you have to highlight the notations like X, Y, V, P, H, P, A dash, B dash, A and B. So now highlight Pandra the 
so that is a major issue you have to highlight the diagram and also notations okay so like this is all many highlight karan clear so the values and also finally a very very important one you will have to, have to highlight the front view and top view so this one is our front view and this one is our top view okay you have to highlight this it is very very important and the notations uh, sorry the dimensions are இதில் வந்து கொஞ்சம் தப்பாக இருக்குது என்னென்னா ஐ கேன் ஏபிள் டு க்ரியேட் அ ஒன்லி ஹரிசோனல் டைமென்ஷன் இன் திஸ் ஸ்லைட் ஸோ நார்மலி யூ ஹாவ் டு க்ரியேட் த பேரல் டைமென்ஷன்ஸ் ஓகே தட் மீன்ஸ் பார்ட்டி இப்படி எழுதக்கூடாது ஓகே ஸோ பார்ட்டி எப்படி இருக்கணும்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா தட் ஷுட் பி பேரல் டு த டைமென்ஷன் லைன் லைக் திஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஃபிஃப்டி இப்படி இருக்கக்கூடாது ட்வெண்ட்டியும் இப்படி இருக்கக்கூடாது ஸோ ஃபிஃப்டீன் like this it should be like this so and also it should not touches the dimension line 20 should be like this so it is a very very important one it should be a parallel dimension okay any doubt so this one the condition is parallel to vp and inclined at an angle of 30 degree to hp it's parallel to vp inclined to hp so the next problem is directly opposite that means parallel to hp and inclined to vp so the angle may vary it, it is depends upon the problem so here the angle is 35 degree and the name of the line is vc and the true length is 50 mm so the condition is parallel to hp and inclined at an angle of 35 degree to the vp okay so next here also we are having the conditions like uh, point b should be 20 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp it is same like our previous problem so we have to draw the projections so this one is our component so the component should be inclined at an angle of 35 degree to the vp okay so it is inclined to vp so you have to draw the top view in a inclined angle so the front view will be a horizontal line okay so the b point is 20 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp so you can pick a point that we said that should be 20 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp okay so now you can create the top view so initially here you have to create the top view first because you can able to see this true length in the top view okay so this one is our top view direction right so we're looking from this direction you will be getting the true length only in the top view we're looking from the front view direction you can't able to see the true length okay so the front view will be a horizontal line the top view will be a inclined line so you can create the 35 degree inclined line so the length of the line should be 50 mm okay so next you can project these two points so the projection should be 20 mm above hp because the condition is 20 mm above hp so it should have a 20 mm distance from the reference line so now you can connect these two points so you can name it as b dash and c dash here you can name it as b and c so this one is directly opposite to our previous problem so any doubts sir in this diagram hp and vp are interchanged or sir no can i just same right the so previous problem la apdiye da irukum pa na solradhu vandu lines da interchange avun sonna லேன்ஸ் அப்படியே தான் இருக்கும் ஸோ இதுக்கு முன்னாடி இருக்கிற ப்ராப்ளம் பாருங்கள் அவர் காம்போனன்ட் இஸ் திஸ் ரைட் அப்போ நான் உனக்கு இன்ஃபைன் லைன் விபியில் தெரியும் ஹரிசாண்டல் லைன் ஹெச்பியில் தெரியும் கரெக்டாக ஸோ திஸ் ஒன் இஸ் ஹெச்பி திஸ் ஒன் இஸ் விபி ஸோ ஹியர் ஆல்சோ இட் இஸ் சேம் திஸ் ஒன் இஸ் விபி அண்ட் திஸ் ஒன் இஸ் ஹெச்பி லைன் இஸ் இன்ஃபைன்டு ஓகே ஸோ இன் அவர் ப்ரீவியஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் லைன் இஸ் இன்ஃபைன் டு ஹெச்பி 
so here it is line is inclined to vp so the condition is different so the line is like this so you will be getting the inclined line on horizontal plane in our previous condition you will be getting a horizontal line on horizontal plane okay so it is totally yes, different okay is it clear yes sir clear sir okay so now we have now we have completed the five cases okay so this one is also uh, inclined to any one of the plane so here the condition is totally different so the that means the end point condition is totally different but the basic condition is same The basic condition is similar. That means it is parallel to VP and inclined at an angle of 35 degree to HP. Apoi, there is different arc. So NC is 10 mm above HP. Okay. So that is the single condition. So in our condition, in our go, it is in VP. The line CD 50 mm of long is in VP. Okay, and it is inclined at an angle of 35 degree to HP. Okay, that means you have to create the top view. So the top view should be directly on, on the reference line. So here you have to create the front view first. Okay, so next you have to draw the top view. So you can create the front view. The end cheese should be 10 mm above HP. So you can create the C point first. Okay. So next you can create the 35 degree inclined line. So the length of the line should be 50 mm. So here the condition is 35 degree inclined and also 50 mm to length. So you can create the 35 degree 50 mm length. Okay. You can mark it as C dash and D dash. So next you have to project these two points towards the reference line. Okay, you'll be having the top view exactly on the reference line. That means the condition is 50 mm long is in VP. So if it is mentioned like this, you have to draw the top view exactly on the reference line. Is it clear? Okay, now please remember one thing. But I'm a parker, the LMA different different problems. So, Narepe and Upon Yaking and Pathingam will drawings la, Ure reference line, lay yellow lines you drop on your sitting. You don't have to do like that. Individual out reference line over a problem create any individual problem. Points lay on the Pathina number of points combined in a single problem. Okay, Adanala Pripoto, India Pricadea. Please remember this in your mind. You have to create a single reference line for each and every problem. So this one is our one single problem. In the problem, you in the problem, you combine one, you drop on a code. Are okay. So next one is directly opposite to our ninth problem. So in our ninth problem, we had it is in VP and in at an angle of 35 degree to HP. So this one is our ninth problem. So the tenth problem is is in HP and in plane at an angle of 45 degree to the VP. So the true length is 52 mm. Okay, that means you'll be getting the front view exactly on the reference line. In our previous problem, we got the top view exactly on the reference plane because the condition is is in VP. So here it is is in HP. That means you'll be getting the front view exactly on the reference line so in this problem you have to draw the top view first okay so you can pick a point so the e point should be 10 mm in front of vp so you can pick a point that should be 10 mm in front of vp that means below the reference line so you can pick the point here so the name of uh, name of the point is b okay, sorry sorry Gana, it is not d the deal, it is actually E. 
because the name of the line is EF, so it is not BC. Okay, so here you have to mention it as E, and here you can have to mention it as F. Okay, so we have to create a 45, and also it is not 35 degree, it is 45. So there is a common mistake. So it should be a 45 degree angle. It is 45 degree. Okay, so we have to create the 45 degree inclined line. So the length of the line should be 52 mm. So now you will be getting the top view. So next you have to project the top view towards the reference line. Okay, so you can connect these two points. So this one is our print view. You can name it as E dash and F dash. Okay. If you are having any doubts regarding the five cases, you can ask me right now. Or else I will move on to the next final case, the very, very important case. You okay, Va? Will there doubts to come from here? Sir? Okay. So, points are small at Lunar Gunmosa. Points and rotations are not so ring, yeah? Yes, sir. How can compulsory rotations, the line name, notation should be a small letter. So, is the LMA small letters? Is the capital X, Y, VP, HP, Brain View, Top View? So, the LMA on the Patina capital letters. The line order names on the patina smaller term. Okay. Any doubts? Any other doubts? Okay, now please remember one thing. So today you will be having a class work. Uh, so in that class where you have to draw this seventh problem and eighth problem, ninth problem, tenth problem. Okay, so you have to write the question first. Compulsory question here, no. And also your roll number. Each and every page we have a roll number. In roll number four, dama submit panna apni na. I will mark it as absent and also I will put only zero mark for that. So now that particular will solve for it. Ten forty five. Compulsory question, compulsory roll number. Here it comes. Okay. So this PPT is completed. So next I will move on to the new PPT. So this PPT contains a problem that is related with only with line inclined to both the planes. Okay, so this PPT contains nearly 186 slides. Okay, so over step each and every slide on the next, next, next step because it is a very, very important problem. So this one is our problem. A line AB measuring 8 mm length is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. The point A is 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of the straight line. Okay. So from the problem itself, we can clearly understand that the condition is inclined to both the planes that means inclined at an angle of 30 degree to hp so for hp it is inclined and also for vp it is inclined so the condition is inclined to both the planes but the angle may differ for each and every problem that is not a issue okay so you have to remember one thing first whether it is inclined to both the plane or not 
So here the problem is inclined to both the planes. So before going to start this, uh, I will write the dimensions. So the dimension, the true length that is 80 mm. Okay, so the true length is 80 mm and uh, 30 degree that is inclined to HP. So 30 degree to HP. Okay, so I'm using mouse. So in order letters from the different other people and also 45 degree to the VP. So next also we are getting, we are having a different conditions related with the points. So A is 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. So in the problem, the name of the line is A and B. So the condition is A should be 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. There is no condition for point B. Okay. So if there is no condition for point B, you don't have to worry about the point B. So if you follow the other three conditions, you will be getting the point B. Okay. So any doubts regarding the question, you can ask me right now or else I will move on to the problem. Okay, so initially, the first thing you have to do, that is, you have to create the horizontal reference line, you have to name it as X and Y, and then you have to write the name of the planes. So, above the reference line, you have to mark it as VP, and below the reference line, you have to mark it as HP. So, next, you, you have to pick the point called A. Okay, so you can create a horizontal line. Okay. So you can create a horizontal line that should be 20 mm above the reference line because the point C is 20 mm above HP. That means you have to create a horizontal line that should be 20 mm above the reference line. And next condition is 30 mm in front of VP. Then you have to create the 30 mm below so the, reference, uh, the next horizontal line should be 30 mm distance from the reference line. Is it okay? Any doubts up to this? Any doubts? The point C is the line of point C. Oh, sorry. Question name is regular. Okay, so this one is not the So the question is point B. So point B, sorry, point B, point A, where is it? Question is not correction. So it is not point C because the line name is A and B, right? So now we have to do the A and the So point A, we have to next problem. So A is the So we have to do the slide. The problem. The slide is the point A is 20 mm above the HP and 30 mm in front of it. Okay. So you have, you have created a horizontal line with a distance of 20 mm and also with a distance of 30 mm. Next, you can create the vertical line. Okay. So it is an imaginary one. So you can pick up a vertical line wherever you want. So left side, the maximum left side, pick one again. So if you are creating this vertical line, it will cross the two horizontal line at a point. Okay. So these two points can be named as A dash and A. Okay. So these two points can be named as A dash and A. And also with that, you have to mention the name of this horizontal line. Okay. So the name of this horizontal line, that is, here you can mark it as locus of A dash. So if you are creating a point called A dash, you can mark it as locus of A dash. So if you are creating a point called A, you have to mark it as locus of A. So the name of this horizontal line is 
log plus of a dash. So the name of this horizontal line is log plus of a. Okay. So what is the name of this line? It is a reference line. So there is no name for this vertical line. You don't have to worry about this because it is a uh, drawing order simpler create point of the render point of one the vertical or a point like click on so that means point a dash and a on the padina vertical or a direction that one other car would have a page so there is no name for this vertical line is it clear so up to this is there any doubt Okay, so next, so the next thing that you have to do is now you have to look at the angle of this line. That means it is 30 degree inclined to HP. Okay, so I already told you that you can't be able to create the front view, top view directly. Okay, because for this condition, for the sixth case, initially you have to create the true line first. Then only you can able to create the frame view top view. So now I am creating the true line. So what is the true length? It is 80 mm. And the angle of this is 30 degree to HP. So you can create a 30 degree angle from the point called A. So the angle should be 30 degree. So the name of this angle is theta. Okay, so the name of this angle is theta. Where a name it is compulsorily it is theta. Names put in the yellow problem it should be theta. Okay. Clear? So next uh, the length of the line should be 80 mm. And also with that, the length of the line should be. 80 mm. So this length should be 80 mm. So now on the body in a open air of it, then create for nature. You know, open air of it, use for nothing. You should use only closed and filled air of it. Okay, so the length should be 80 mm. Okay, clear. So next you can create the horizontal line or this point. Compulsory, this one is the end point. So you have to create the horizontal line. Okay. So you can you have to refer this video while create you will draw uh, while doing the classwork. So if you are referring this video, you can able to draw the diagram easily. So follow the same procedure, the step-by-step -step procedure. Okay. So next step, you have to name the point and also you have to name the horizontal line. So the name of this point is V1 dash. You should not name it as V dash because this one is our is not our print view. This one, this line is call it as true line. So the end point of the true line should be B1 dash. We should not name it as B dash. Okay. And also with that, the name of this horizontal line should be locus of B dash. Okay. Compulsory locus of B dash in the B1 dash in the Kura. Because in the horizontal line, if mala dang compulsory front view what an end point work. The horizontal line is compulsory B dash or a point over. So, for that reason, we are naming it as locus of B dash. So, commonly you will be having a doubt. So, here we have marked as A dash so that we are marking it as locus of A dash. Here we are marking it as B dash or A. So, we have named it as locus of A. But in this condition, we are naming it as B1 dash. but why we are calling it as locus of B dash? So the reason is you will be getting the end point of the front view 
that is exactly on this line okay on this horizontal line okay so for that condition only we are naming it as locus of b dash clear so next one the next thing we have to do it here is you have to create a imaginary vertical line okay so there is no name for this vertical line so you have to project this vertical line up to locus of e okay so the vertical line starts from b1 dash and it will ends at locus of e okay so you will be getting a point exactly at here so the name of the point should be b1 okay so the name of the point should be b1 because we are here we are marking it as b1 dash so you can name it as b1 here okay Is there any doubt up to this? Okay, you know. So next, you have to create the true line that is exactly below the reference line. So if we have a male true line create for more same like that, we have to create another true line that should be below the reference line. That means starting from A. So here you have to look at the second condition. The second condition is 45 degree to the VP. Okay, the condition is 45 degree to the VP. That means you have to create a 45 degree inclined line from the point called A. Okay, so the length of the line should be 80 mm because it is a true line. So you have to use the true length. So the in the line they call a length tom. The line or the length to same, same eighty mm. Okay, and also with that you have to create another one horizontal line that is exactly at the end of this true line. And also with that it is not a top view; it is a true line. Here we have to name it as with the help of another point. Here any bean mark na kudal. So in our mark, you have to name it as B two. Okay, you have to name it as B two. So reference line ki kila yalla me ye B B one B two abdi tar ekono. Reference line ko maila fulla patinge na ye dash B one dash B two dash B dash. Okay. And the name of this line is locus of B two. Name of this line is locus of B two. Sorry. So previous of uh, B now more than meaning sir. Ah, ma ba B then panir kono. Actually, the B two player. It is not B two. It is locus of B. Now the name, the name, the line or the name of the body. Now locus of B. Okay. B two no mark panadi nga. It is a mistake. This is locus of B. Puri chida. Okay na. So next you have to create a vertical line that is exactly from the point called B two. So that should go up to locus of A dash. So like this. अरे ये ना पूरा ले ओ ये नेक्स्ट स्टेप में ना तो ये बाग लाने से ओके तो नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू क्रिएट अ आर्क सो फ्रॉम ये राइट फ्रॉम ये सो यू हैव टू टेक योर कॉम्पस ओके तो यू हैव टू प्लेस द नीडल ऑफ कॉम्पस एक्सेक्टली एट ये यू हैव टू मेजर दिस लेंथ दैट मींस फ्रॉम ये टू बी वन You have to measure the length with your compass, so that the needle should be exactly at here. So you can take the length of this A B one, 
so you can place a needle exactly at A. So you have to create a arc. Okay. So this one is our arc. So the arc should go up to locus of B. It is not B2. So it should be from A to V1 dash. You have to measure with your compass. You have to place the needle exactly at A. Then you have to create an arc. So the arc should go up to locus of B. Indian mistake, I think. Sorry, it is a array error. So, in a reason, na, names will collapse. You know, over slide create for you. So, you know, names will error create. Error. Okay. So, in the locus of B dash, in the locus of B. Okay. So, you will be getting another one more point at here. So, the name of the point is B. Okay, so the name of the point is B. Next, you can connect the point A and B with the help of a bold line. That means now you can use your HB pencil. Okay, you have to create a inclined line that should connect a point called A and the point called B. So the name of the line is copy. Okay, you have to measure this length because at the end of this problem, you have to mention the length of the top view and front view. And also, you have to mention the angle of the top view and front view. Now we got the top view. So next we have to do the procedure again for creating the front view. So for this, you have to create a vertical line from the point called B2 up to locus of A dash. Okay, like this. You have to create a line from B2 to locus of A dash and you can name it as B2 dash because here it is B2, so directly opposite to B2, you will be getting B2 dash. Okay, so next, you can measure the length of A dash and B2 dash with the help of your compass. So here, you have to place the compass exactly at A dash. Next, you can create an arc that is having the length of A dash, B2 dash. So you have to create the arc. So the arc should be up to locus of B dash. It's not B1 dash, it's up to locus of B dash. Okay, so now you will be getting a point called uh, B dash. Okay, so next you have to create a line that should connect the point called A dash and also B dash. So the name of the line is same view. Okay, so this is not the end. So up to this, you have created a front view and also top view. But this is not the end of this problem. So I will tell you how to end the problem in our next hour. That means 11.15 because the time is 10.47. Okay. So, other cooler eleven fifteen worm both the doubts in the repella wanga on the question in a kailinger. You put it on a drop on another one in a rough drop on the burn. Okay, so you don't have to use your scale, so use your pencil to create a rough diagram. Okay, so if you're creating the rough diagram, you'll be getting doubts, compulsory doubts. So, eleven fifteen worm both compulsory and doubts scaling. Okay. So up to 15th slide, we are going to move step. There is another recall pointer. One problem is there. And if you doubt, scare that other recall pointer. If you doubt, scare. Come on, if you are doing that, then I am compulsory recall pointer. Okay, Papa. So now we have already told you that attendance very very important. 
ஸோ நான் கிளாஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணும்போது ஃபிஃப்டி டூ தான் இருந்தது அட்னன்ஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி சிக்ஸ் ஆகிருக்கு ஸோ ஃபார் த ஃபோர் மெம்பர்ஸ் ஐ வில் பி மார்க்கிங் ஆப்சன்ட் அண்ட் மை வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஓகே ரோல் நம்பர் ஃபிஃப்டி டூ யார் கிருத்திகா ரோல் நம்பர் ஃபிஃப்டி டூ ரோல் நம்பர் ஃபிஃப்டி டூ யார் பா கிருத்திகா ஓகே ரெப்ரஸன்டேட்டிவ் ரோல் நம்பர் ஃபிஃப்டி டூ என்னை கான்டாக்ட் பண்ண சொல்லுங்கள் 